Well, happy Friday, everyone. We've got some cold air coming our way this weekend, but next week we're going to warm up. So don't worry. It's just kind of the final weekend of the winter season. So winter is coming in person to say goodbye. And boy, well, we know it's here. That is for sure. Going to be cold and blustery tomorrow. Wind gusts between 40 and 55 miles per hour on average all day long, by the way. And then Sunday morning, we will awaken to very cold temperatures. We're talking about teens and 20s as we go into very early Sunday morning. So definitely going to be cold. It's crockpot weather again. As we take a look at some of these future wind gusts, here you go. Four o'clock in the morning. Now we're going to have some very heavy rainfall at four o'clock tomorrow morning. We're going to have isolated thunderstorms and we're also going to have these pretty strong winds after seven o'clock tomorrow morning. I think the rain will be gone, but we're still going to have some very cold air working its way in and we're still going to have these winds. So even though we'll get into sunshine tomorrow afternoon, it's still going to be very cold if you have any outdoor plans all the way through tomorrow night. Let's take a look at that wind chill. Cold air, very gusty winds. Well, look at this. It's going to feel like three below zero in Asheville at nine o'clock tomorrow night. It'll feel like zero in Hendersonville. It'll feel like the teens and twenties tomorrow night across the upstate. Not much better once Sunday morning arrives as the sun comes up. Still going to feel like single digits and twenties for most of us across the area. We've also got a winter storm warning in effect. This is for higher elevations above 3,500 feet. Three or four inches of snow is not out of the question. I think five or six might be uh, likely as you get closer to that Tennessee, North Carolina line. We've also got a winter weather advisory in effect. This is for tomorrow until seven o'clock with anywhere below 3,500 feet, anywhere from a trace or a dusting to upwards of one, maybe two inches of snowfall. So it'll be nice for some of those ski resorts to get a little bit of snow on the final weekend of winter. As we take a look outside, live Super Doppler 4 HD radar, we've got mostly cloudy skies across the upstate, mostly sunny across the mountains, but everyone's going to get wet as we head into the overnight tonight. In fact, we've got a medium or a moderate risk of some severe thunderstorms. It's really going to be heavy downpours and some of the stronger winds will likely gravitate south of I-85 overnight. Not expecting anything severe, but these winds will be on the stronger side. By tomorrow, that severe weather threat goes up and that is going to be for areas along the coast. So if you have friends or loved ones that live anywhere on the coast, just know very strong winds and severe thunderstorms are very, very likely in those areas. So back to today as we go into five, six o'clock tonight, we will have some scattered showers around, but it's really going to be after midnight when the cold front comes through. Look how quickly that colder air works its way into the area. Higher elevations will see some snowfall, but look at these downpours. This is 2 30, 3, 4, 5 a.m. So don't be surprised if you don't awaken to some of that heavy rainfall and possibly even some thunder and lightning. But by tomorrow afternoon, in fact, mid morning, it's out of here. We'll have a lot of sunshine, but again, it's going to be very, very cold. So how much rain will fall overnight? Well, it's going to be anywhere from half an inch to an inch. That will be the average as we go tonight. So tomorrow temperatures not making it out of the 40s. It's going to be very blustery, very cold. But remember that wind chill, it'll feel like the 20s and 30s most of the day. Sunday, a beautiful day, but still very cold, not windy, but cold. But we will warm up as we head into next week and we'll dry out as well.